Ag AM in Kansas is brought to you in part by SureCrop, liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. I'm Jason Grady, veterinarian at Kansas State University in equine reproduction and field service. And one common question I commonly receive from mare owners is how to suppress estrus in their, in their mare. One common reason to do so might be to suppress the signs of estrus such as tail switching, um, frequent urination, or squealing while at an event such as a horse show, a parade, or a trail ride. Many owners and veterinarians believe that estrus behavior may result in poor performance, poor attitude, or, or difficulty training. And so estrus suppression in these patients might be warranted as well. There are several different methods that have been described for estrus suppression, but as a veterinarian, primary role is to find a method that is safe for the horse, effective, uh, potentially reversible if the client is wanting to use the mare as a, a brood mare in the future, as well as cost effective. Probably the most common method that we routinely use is the use of exogenous progesterones such as Altrinogest or intramuscular progesterone. And these have been shown to be very effective, cost effective, and safe for the mare. Other methods that we might get commonly asked to help with estrus suppression might be to have the mare ovariectomized or spayed. And this might seem as a, a permanent solution to the problem, but unfortunately there are many mares that will still continue to show estrus, signs of estrus, um, even after the, the ovaries have been removed. So bottom line, as a veterinarian, it is important to find a method that is safe, effective, as well as cost effective, and consult with your veterinarian to, to identify a method that works for that specific mare. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com.